All right, so we're going to do module for inventory, particularly with um, ABC analysis. So let's go over that one. So we come up with this. Let's have an inventory items of around maybe seven of them. Right, let's make it ten. All right. Then press OK. So it will come out like this. So we have item one, item two, up to ten. We have the demand and the uh, unit price on the right side. So let's have just a random thing. Like, for example, item one has demand of 300, 250, 400, okay, 260. Of course, in real life, you'll have to do it actually, you know, actually um, counting it. Or having a report on this with an actual count right let's just do it randomly today so we'll have all this so basically what we're trying to say here is that the demand for item number one is around 300 uh, on the other hand if you look at item 7 there's a huge demand right now we will also we will also uh, encode the unit price. For example, for unit number one will have maybe around 200 pesos, 160 for item two, 300 for item three, mm -hmm, 280, okay, 1,500 for item five, 300 for item six, and maybe for this around 25 pesos only. Okay, uh, item A is around 1,250, item 9 around 900 pesos, and item 10 about 600 pesos. So with one, in you know, in just looking at it, oh, sorry about that. I already, I already pressed the edit data, the solve data. So just by looking at this, you won't be able to, to find out which of the items are which of the items are class A or class B in inventory so uh, but with the use of POM you can do it uh, in a fast way right so the second thing to do actually the last thing to do is to identify how many percent of the items are A items this is uh, more or less classified as D uh, premium items or the items that you should not uh, lose uh, inventory of so and on the other hand we have the B items here the default is around 20% A and 30% B of course you can edit this make it for example 30% A and around maybe maybe around 25% or maybe around 30% also no, of B so we expect that the computer or the POM QM will choose six items. Three of them will be classified as A items because there are 10 items here. So 30% of 10 is three. So we will have three A items and three B items, right? So if we click solve, uh, okay, solve this here. So we click solve and and this is the result. So for um, for for A inventory, we have item six at the top of the list with uh, the, the dollar value is around two hundred and forty thousand pesos, which is around eighteen point forty six percent of the the volume. Item five is the second one. With around 180,000 or around 13.84 percent, right? Uh, item 9 is also 13.84 percent, and so is item 10. So those are the A category, right? Or oh, the B category will be 
so this is the these are the categories here. The B category will be item 10, this is item 10, item 8, and item 3, with the remaining item 7 and 4 in the C category. If you will notice the the one with a high demand of 3,100 is only a C uh, categorized um, item or inventory because of the relatively low price in it. Uh, another point that we have to raise here before we start, uh, before we end this, is that usually this is uh, aligned to Pareto principle. So some books would uh, accumulate the percent to the volume of around 80%. So this is the Pareto principle there. So we have 80% 80, 80 here of the accumulated volume will be critical. So in that sense, A and B form, the categories A and B form uh, the, the most critical inventory that we should have always in the store. So that's it. That's it for for ABC analysis. Thank you.